Hello everybody, so today I'm going to walk you through the exposure chart, what it is and how to use it. Now this chart has all the technical information you need to get started with beginner photography. If you'll have a look, it's got four sections on it, aperture, brightness, shutter speed and ISO. Now the brightness is there just to say what the exposure is going to do. Anything that moves your from the right hand side to the left hand side will make the picture brighter. Anything that moves from the left hand side to the right hand side will make the picture darker. For example, if you start at f2 and then you push towards f32, the picture is going to be getting darker. And then if you're shooting at uh, one thousandth of a second and then you push up towards on half a second, the picture is going to get brighter. Now if we have a look at the aperture section, uh, we can see here we've got f2. This is a wide open aperture and if we look at the background, the background is going to be out of focus. If we start moving up the f-stops until we get to f32, we're going to have a really small aperture and the depth of field is going to be much wider so the background is more likely to be in focus. A useful thing to remember with the aperture is as the f number goes up, the depth of field goes up. If we look at the shutter speed, at half a second somebody running is going to be blurred and then as we go up the shutter speeds when we get to about a thousandth of a second the person's going to be sharp. Now if we look at the ISO, we can see here we've got ISO 6400, this is going to be really grainy and then as we go down the ISO settings to ISO 50 for example, there will be no grain in the picture at all. So ideally we're going to want to keep down the lowest ISO as possible and only use higher ISOs in lower light conditions. Now grain will look slightly different on different cameras, some will handle it better than others, but they will always find the higher the ISO, the grainier the picture. So guys, I hope you found this chart useful. I say, I'll show you how to download it at the end of the video. Uh, if you print this off and keep it in your camera bag, you'll have all the information you need to get the shots that you want. To download this exposure chart, just go through to my website, paultaste.co.uk forward slash fileshare. I'll drop the link in the description below. And then we go through and we look for the exposure chart. Once we've found it, we can click on the three dots on the right hand side, click download, and then a little arrow will pop up in the top right hand corner. We click on that, and we double click on exposure chart, and here it is. Okay guys, so I hope you found this video useful, and I'll see you in the next one.